Hello Capricorn. Welcome to your August 2018 mid-month check-in. This is for Capricorn for August 2018. All right. If this resonates with you Capricorn, please like, share, and subscribe and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this doesn't resonate with you at all, Capricorn, please check your moon rising and your Venus sign because this probably won't resonate with every Capricorn out there. If you would like a private reading uh, with me, something more specific to your situation, all the information is down below in the description box. This is for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn for August 2018. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. All right. So, strong soulmate connection here right off the bat. But it's almost getting to the point where you're ready to give up on this. It's becoming overwhelming. It's all you can think about, and it, it, it's like nothing's happening here. Okay, you don't know what to do about the situation. A lot of major changes have happened, and it's it's just weighing you down. Okay, but you are bent. You are not broken, Capricorn. All right, you're not. You you you're almost to the point where you're ready to lay this burden down, but not quite yet. You're not ready to give up on it quite yet. Ten of Wands here. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You are, however, getting very, very tired, though. The situation, um, there could have been an ending here. Okay. There could have been an ending. Um, some sort of shocking, dramatic changes have happened between you and this person. Um, but obstacles, you know, are cleared out of the way now. And there could be potential for a new beginning here. All right. So this is Scorpio energy, and this is what is happening. Some sort of transformation. That is the situation. Obstacles have are being removed. So it can make way for new beginnings here. Do you see, you know, all of this just chaos, all of these obstacles dead on the floor. And then that sunrise, right? That sunrise, that new beginning here. Obstacles being cleared out of your way. That does not downplay the dramatic changes that had to take place in order for this to happen. Okay? Your challenge is, what do you do about this? Um, your challenge is making a decision. You are at a stalemate right here. You really don't know what to do. You feel overwhelmed. You feel burdened. Should you stick this out? Should you let it go? Right? That's what I'm feeling here. Should you, should you stick this out? Should you stick around? Should you walk away? You need more time to make that decision. All right, you're, I feel like, you know, you're being blind to some of the issues here. A lot of things aren't known, okay? And you're just kind of at a standstill right now. Two of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Your advice is to get clarity here. It, your advice is to communicate very, very clearly to this person about what you want, how you want it, how you feel, how you want things to go, okay? We have the King of Swords here, and this is more air energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. As a person, um, male or female, this, this is a general reading. This is a very intelligent person, doctor, lawyer, IT, kind of, you know, very, very high intelligence. And usually, as an energy, they make head over heart decisions. Their emotions do not get the best of them in any way, shape, or form. They're very much in control to the point where they can be extraordinarily emotionally distant sometimes. 
However, in this circumstance right here, I feel like you need to clearly and um, intelligently speak your truth here. All right, Capricorn, that is the advice. Because your focus is a soulmate energy, someone from your past, someone you feel very, very connected with. Okay? And it doesn't surprise me that this card... Um, has popped out. I'm sure it's not going to be the last time it pops out because we are in a Mercury retrograde and the past does keep popping up for everyone, right? So someone from your past is um, stirring your feelings here, trying to, you know, and you're trying to figure out what to do about it. Should you just finally let it go or, or should you keep you know, keep the hope alive here because it is a very strong connection. Six of Cups, Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So, you know, there could have been an ending here between the two of you, but what this is saying is you really need to have a very open and honest discussion with this person, okay? Because the outcome here is the Knight of Cups. So somebody's going to offer their cup of love again, if that's you or if that's them. Okay. So in order for this decision here to be made in regards to a situation that was very dramatic and overwhelming to the point where you're ready to let it go, right? In order for this decision to be made, Capricorn, um, what this is saying is you need more clarity. You need more information. You need clear communication. You need to have very honest and open discussion here. And this is with a soulmate connection. Someone from your past, somebody that you feel extraordinarily connected to. And when all that is said and done, I feel like the decision is, you know, it's love here. Someone's going to offer their cup Someone's going to accept that cup. We have the Knight of Cups here. Okay, this is a proposal. Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Yeah. So use your intuition in regards to this. Okay, your intuition is spot on in regards to the High Priestess here. Be careful. There could be, you know... This whole thing could have come about because there were secrets involved in the situation, but um, somebody could also be um, on a very spiritual path here. All right. One of the two of you. Very intuitive, very in tune with each other, almost like maybe possibly like a telepathic connection. All right. Which is awesome. All right, Capricorn, let's see what the Romance Angels has to say for Capricorn for August 2018 for their mid-month check-in. What is going on with Capricorn? Yeah, it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. I forget who else got this, but I feel like it is safe now for you to make this decision to um, honestly communicate with this person, maybe to open up your heart to receive a cup of love for them. Just use your intuition here, right? And right now, I feel like the two of you have been um, kind of in a separation, okay? Especially um, with this death card here. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon, but I feel like, you know, the decision's going to be made to have a set down, honest, and open discussion. And um, I feel like hearts are going to open up again. Emotions are going to open up again. You're following your intuition. You're following that inner voice here. And I feel like the cup of love will be not only given, but received. Okay. It's just a matter of, you know, discussion. It's really 
that that's all that it boils down to because I feel like the two of you are very extraordinarily connected and you're thinking about each other okay anytime you think about them they're thinking about you um weighing heavy on you weighing heavy on your mind here all right Capricorn if you would like a personal reading with me all the information is down below I will be getting out daily messages all week Sunday through Thursday 12 around noon 12 p.m eastern standard time and also um love lust or loss that um series on friday at noon and then um next week i'll be getting out the let's spy on our x series so please do check that series out it is one of my least viewed um series but it is quite um information filled let me tell you so give it a look you might um you might uh enjoy it all right you guys take very good care of yourselves and have a wonderful rest of the week and i'll talk to you soon god bless